The world is in a mess, both in the video game and in the real world. And in our video game, the world's become such a mess that there is only one space left on the whole planet which is still in a good place, and that is the stage Chichester Festival Theatre. So this time, the Friday Company are working on the Game Changer project, which is one of our digital stages events to celebrate our 60th anniversary. There's a group of adults with learning disabilities working with a digital company to design and make our own original video game. It's so much fun. This game is in the theatre. It's sort of dark wasteland theatre that we try to turn into a paradise. So they make things some bad to, to good, so they make things all happy again. We started with absolutely nothing apart from a LiDAR scan, which is a 3D scan of the Chichester Festival Theatre, the inside. And we've been working every week with an amazing, gorgeous group of people, literally making the story. Firstly, we think of uh, different ideas like scary and haunted and also all sorts of actions. We did like posters and we thought that like, what, what we think our dream theatre would be making up superheroes that are going to save the day. We made characters out of clay and we scanned the clays in, into a computer. Just 3D scanning them, rigging them, animating them. Designing really cool costumes and characters. Some images are heroes, some images are villains. And those are images of the characters that will be in the game. I have helped design the game by creating some of the costumes and and superpowers. Laser beams, seed beams, smile beams, ice beams, sun beams. And we can use our six powers to change things in the world. Then we draw flowers. And we've taken lots of their beautiful imagery that they've been creating as 2D artworks that pop up in the game when you trigger certain events. So it's going to be really colourful and gorgeous to look at as well. The group have been creating some sound effects for the game. Lots of different sounds, so bubbles, we've been throwing lentils across the floor and lots of different things that we've been trying out. Just really sort of thinking outside the box and, and getting the guys to think about how they would create the sounds. You know, they've really led the sessions and, and really decided how they wanted the sounds to sound. I've been playing the sound on the phone, I've been playing the drums. The bubbles blowing them to school. Playing music together, uh, looking at instruments, and also using iPads and technology. So we've really explored sound and we've created some really extraordinary sound effects. It represents the idea of a utopia from the participants' point of view. They're all very angry with lots of things that are happening in the world and this game has been a way for them to explore how, what they would like to see changed in the world, which is delightful transforming the world into a better place. And then we're going to do it in the real world afterwards, which is practicing in the video game. Yeah. I really enjoy challenging myself to actually make this game. I've never made a game before. I'm looking forward to when you, when you hear it all, made it all together. Oh, that'd be lovely. It's coming alive now and I'm really excited. Once this product is created, it will be hosted online and people can play it for, for years and years afterwards. My favorite thing for the game is everything. I think other people will, will enjoy the adventure style of the game. I hope they will uh, enjoy it and have a, quite a lot of fun. I hope that they can gain an appreciation of, of the work we did. I hope it inspires others and bring it all together. Play our game and it's going to be really fun. user-friendly, uh, it doesn't take much to learn and the colours and the feel is joyful. A complete revelation. I'm in my 80s, I've seen my grandchildren playing electronic games. I've never actually had the courage to try it myself, but I can see why it's so attractive, because it draws you into it. And you know, the sort of three-dimensional effect. I remember playing tennis on a computer about 
30 years ago. And, uh, you know, it's a quantum leap. It's absolutely fascinating. I actually played the game just now and showed my mum the game. And it was actually amazing. I think I beat it, I think. And it's really fun. You can really see all the bad things coming happy and positive. What's really exciting is the fact that you get to see the theatre in a very different way. I find that the fact that people with disabilities can enjoy it and value it is even more remarkable. And as a drama group, Simon and Mora and all that lot, I think they've done brilliant. It's amazing to see how we've come as a group to to make and create the game, I feel empowered and I can now go into the world knowing that I can have a say, I can bring positive habits in my everyday life.